And now on News First Explorers, which we premiered on Primetime News last night, we brought you details of our first colonist Portuguese who made ports in the commercial hub of Sri Lanka, Colombo. Now on tonight's segment, we take you through the remnants of the fortresses, fortress that the colonists built in Colombo. News First Explorers Discovering Colombo's Hidden Secrets In November 1505, a fleet of caravels bearing the Portuguese royal flag made port in Colombota. One of the first things that a country does when it invades or colonizes another country is that it marks its presence there. Well, this is exactly what the Portuguese did as well when they landed in Sri Lanka, when Lorenzo de Almeida and his fellow men landed in Sri Lanka. They carved in their presence on this 20-ton rock. At the top here, you see the Christian emblem, which symbolizes Christianity, which was dominant rule back in the Portuguese era. And just a few centimeters below that is the emblem of the Portuguese royalty. This section of rock, which currently stands in the premises of the Colombo Harbour, used to be placed at Gordon's Garden in the President's house. After making their imperialist presence felt in the country, the Portuguese left the country. They returned to Colón in 1517 aboard 17 caravels. Following their return, the Portuguese launched their colonization campaign from Colombo. Upon their arrival, the Portuguese immediately set about converting the trading post they had established in Colombo into a fully fledged fort comprising of 12 ramparts. The architect of this fort was Leporto Brito. These are the remnants of these ramparts today. The Revia Canal, mentioned in Portuguese maps, which date back to 1656, flows even today. This street, which was then called Rio Directo, could be now described as one of the busiest streets in Colombo and is known as Main Street. News first team of explorers traveled along this street in search of the Bissau gates which were known as Purta Reina during that era. This gateway was later renamed Cayman's Gate. The belfry is still located here. Records suggest that this belfry was brought here from a church in Corte. Cayman's Gate also comprised of a drawbridge which bridged the banks of St. John's Canal and natural moats. It was named Cayman's Gate after the crocodiles which used to proliferate the waterway scavenging off the leftovers dumped from the fort. Tomorrow, our explorers go in search of a hidden gateway in the fort. News First Explorers Discovering Colombo's Hidden Secrets